Reigns of Liscor, The Wandering Inn, Book 7 by Pirate Abba is the continuation of the sprawling saga centered around the mysterious inn and its equally enigmatic owner, Aaron Solstice. The story weaves together the lives of a broad and diverse cast of characters, each navigating a world filled with magic, danger, and intrigue. In this installment, Liscor, the city known for its reign, becomes a focal point of converging storylines. The city itself is evolving, becoming a crossroads for many species and cultures as it adapulates to an ever-changing world and the influence of the wandering inn. Aaron Solstice, previously left in a comatose state at the end of Book 6, struggles within her own mind, trapped in a dreamscape that she cannot escape. Her friends and the staff of the inn rally to find a way to revive her, knowing that the inn, and possibly the world, is not the same without her vibrancy and unique ability to bring diverse peoples together. Lionette Dumarcan, Aaron's protege and the acting manager of the Wandering Inn, steps up to fill the void left by her mentor. She faces her own set of challenges, from managing the inn's day-to-day -day affairs to dealing with the political and diplomatic repercussions of hosting a melting pot of species, including humans, drakes, gnolls, and others. Meanwhile, outside of the inn's walls, larger forces are at play. The Antinium, an insectoid race, find themselves at a crossroads as individuals like Pawn and Kale Bulk question their hive-based society and seek out new identities and purposes beyond their traditional roles, propelled in part by the teachings and influence of Aaron. The Drakes, led by Watch Captain Zavara and Wall Lord Ilvris, face their own dilemmas as they grapple with the changing dynamics of their city and the threats from external forces. Ilvris, in particular, becomes deeply involved in the politics of his people, trying to navigate the delicate balance of power while dealing with his own personal growth. The mysterious black mage, an earthworlder like Aaron, continues his quest to understand and harness the magic of this world, drawing the attention of powerful figures who are intrigued or threatened by his experiments with connecting this world to his home. The Horns of Hammerad, a band of adventurers close to Aaron, undertake their own perilous journeys. KSM Verar, now a full-fledged member, brings his unique perspective to the group as they take on increasingly dangerous missions. They face existential threats from creatures and dungeons that test their limits and fortitude. Further afield, the world's geopolitics shift as wars loom and old powers stir. Among the Gnolls, a great event called the Meeting of Tribes is set to occur promising to bring both unity and conflict to the fore of their society. The threat of the sleeping god, a cataclysmic entity lurking in the world's background, becomes more pronounced, with prophetic dreams warning of its impending rise. Characters such as Numtung, the hobgoblin bard, continue their personal quests. Numtung explores the depths of his bond with Eren and his own identity beyond that of a simple monster. This leads him to interact with other goblins and even form unlikely alliances, redefining what it means to be a goblin in a world that often sees them as enemies. Amidst these interlocking narratives, a central theme of the book is how the ordinary people, those without great power or destiny, make their mark. It is the story of innkeepers, maids, adventurers, and shopkeepers who, through their deeds and choices, shape the fabric of their world. Additionally, the introduction of Earthers, people from Earth transported to this fantasy realm, further complicates the political landscape. These individuals must navigate the perils of integrating into a society vastly different from their own, bringing their knowledge, technology, and perspectives to bear on a society that both marvels at and fears the implications of their arrival. Throughout the narrative, the theme of rain is prominent, symbolizing both the tears for those lost as well as the cleansing and renewal that comes with change. As the season progresses, so too does the story towards moments of loss, triumph, and transformation for the characters involved. Though Erin remains physically absent for much of the book, her spirit and legacy are felt throughout every storyline, guiding the characters as they make choices that will impact not only their lives, but the fate of the world they inhabit. Complicating matters further, is the intrigue of the walled cities, the political machinations of the powerful, as well as the eternal conflict between order and chaos, growth and stagnation, exemplified by the dichotomy between the bustling progress of Liscor 
and the rigid traditions of the Drakes. As the characters deal with personal challenges and growth, they must also contend with the looming threat of a large-scale conflict that could engulf the continent. Diplomatic tensions, trade disputes, and the rise of new and old enemies all add to the tapestry of challenges faced by Liscor and its citizens. Throughout these trials, the idea that the Wandering Inn serves as a beacon of hope and a gathering place for individuals from all walks of life becomes increasingly apparent. The inn's role as a safe haven and point of connection in a divided world is a central anchor to the world's sense of community and unity. In summary, Reigns of Liscor is a story of growth, identity, and unity amidst diversity. It explores themes of leadership and responsibility, the balance between past and future, and the power of individuals and small groups to affect change. Through the lens of a fantasy world filled with magic and might, the novel speaks to the human condition and the unifying power of empathy, determination, and connection. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.